So today I'm going to share with you guys our video of going into the city of Tokyo where we went to Shibuya Crossing and saw the famous Hachi statue, the statue of the dog that um, kept coming to that station years after his master died waiting for him to come home. And we also went and checked out the Harajuku district. Um, it's just kind of like a road. Unfortunately, both of them were a little bit much for our kids. We, um, the... The one, blah, Shibuya, there was just, it was so crazy. Like we went back and we explored a little bit when we came back um, the second time and it was a little less crowded, but it was still very crowded and the streets just, they don't go straight. They're very crazy. And like even really popular stores are like really hard to find. Like there's these little stairways that you have to like try to figure out how to get to them and stuff. So it was a little bit much, um, trying to explore with kids. I definitely think either if you had kids in a carrier where you, they would be with you, that would be really a lot easier or older kids. But it was just a lot harder to do with our younger kids. Um, my husband and I used to just take off and walk around. And, and you'll see when we're at Harajuku where it's a little less crowded, we just start wandering the streets. We just start going off the beaten path and kind of going where, you know, we're like, this is the direction we need to go, so we're just going to keep walking. But um, in crowded, more crowded areas and stuff, you just got to be more careful. And then at the same time with kids, you have to be a lot more cautious. So it was a little bit harder to um, explore than we imagined. Um, I did do quite a bit of research. I had guidebooks that said, you know, turn left here, go here, go. They didn't help at all. So I don't know if I just didn't get very good ones or what. But I would definitely recommend if you have kids um, smaller kids, especially to try to find some kind of guided tour to maybe show you around and help you navigate because it was quite, quite complicated to navigate. Um, and even like a lot of the locals, like our friend that my husband's friend that was meeting us there, he was like, I got off the wrong station and we had to come back. And so even for locals, they said a lot of times locals get lost and confused. So there's multiple trains, there's like the JR and then there's like the, there's, I don't know, there's all these different rail system so you have like one that is called one thing that goes in the circle around the main area and then you have the JR that goes more out of town and then you have like another one and so it just kind of makes it a, a little more complicated um I'm thankful there was a lot of English signs so that did help but it was definitely a little harder to navigate around than we expected and we've navigated around quite a few areas we drove ourselves around Europe we you know walked from one end of Paris from Eiffel Tower to um, all the way to Bastille, like we've explored a lot and done a lot of walking and we've taken trains and all, you know, we always take public transportation. And so even in Hong Kong and stuff, we would do all this. So it wasn't that we haven't had experience with it. It was just, it definitely is a more confusing, um, city to get around. And so, and especially with younger kids. So <clears throat> we didn't end up getting to explore as much as we wanted and seeing some of the things that we wanted, but it was definitely a great experience and a great learning time for our kids. Um, so yeah, let's get to it and share with you guys our little trip and kind of us just wandering around the city of Tokyo. <laughs> Hello, good morning. So we are going to go to Tokyo today. Um, we will take you guys along to show you not only how we get there, but what we see when we get there. So I hope you guys are as excited as we are. Good morning. Hey, good morning. There's Grumpy Pants. Grumpy Cat. Are you excited to go into Tokyo? Yes. We're gonna go check out the toy district, meet one of his friends this evening for dinner, um, and then just explore. It's too early, it's 9 o'clock. What? When we're, when we're driving, can I show you guys my drawings? You wanted to see the drawings that he did? Okay. So we're gonna start the day off um, here at the Tokyo Hilton, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the number five shuttle to the JR Maihama station, and then we're gonna take a JR train to the Tokyo station, and then switch trains. It's a little bit of a walk there, um, and then take a train from the Tokyo to the Shibuya station and that's where the Hachi statue is the really famous Shibuya crossing and all of that So you guys get to come along with us um, 
It's a first press. So you what, get to see. Huh? Huh? And see what Pokemon I get. Yes, and he's going to be playing Pokemon. Hopefully he'll catch some good stuff, right? What's up? Well, do they know the story or can I explain the story of it? You want to talk, you want to say who Hachi is? The dog where the guy got the dog and he went to work, he would jump over the fence and ran to the train station. Yeah, we still got the dog here. I know, but you got to talk a little louder. When the guy adopted the dog and he, every day the dog jumped to the fence to the train station where he went to work and when he came back to work. And then, um, but when he had a heart attack on the set or whatever, and died. And then the dog just waited there for the rest of his life. I think it was like another eight or ten years, and the dog waited for him every day at that station for him to come back off the train. So it's a really touching story, being more animal lovers. We're going to go, we're going to take our picture next time. I think that's a good story. It's a good sad. story, huh? Yeah, sad too, that's what but my dog we're going to go take a picture, that's check out the Crossing, crossing. That's what my dog is. and all of that stuff. Oh, he's squeezing. So, I can't wait. I hope you guys are excited too. That's what my dog is for me. Yeah, Lucky would do that. He's probably waiting for you at home. Mm. All right. Let me show you guys our trip. At the Tokyo station now, transferring to the... I just forgot the name of the... the, the what? Yama Time Line. It's the green line. We just kept going upstairs. Every, all the signs are in English as well, so it makes it really easy. Um, I know there were a couple other options, but this one required the least amount of transfers, so that's why we picked this one. It might take a little bit longer, but like I said, it's more simplicity. We're in no rush, so we're following it. You can see that. We're following the bottom one, the green sign, to the next spot. We'll have to pick up some more tickets because we didn't buy tickets all the way through. And uh, we'll keep heading towards Tokyo. We are on the train into Tokyo. We have a few more. Oh, we, have a, we have a few more stops, and then it's our stop. It's been a but it's been fun. We are in Shibuya, and here's the famous Shibuya crossing. More people cross this than anywhere else at one time. Do you want to go in the amusement park? See what's in here? I don't know. We're going to go explore it. It looks like a gaming spot. Like an arcade. I don't know. Oh. Oh. I guess it's like a casino. No one under 18. Not an arcade. I think it's like a casino. Or I don't know. It's a battling arena. There's made by people battling. Well, it said no one under 18, so that was a no. <laughs> should be across over there. But you have to be able to hold my hand. All right, we're doing Shibuya crossing, guys. Here we go.
Green vest is your information stop. If you need information, that kind of stuff. Tourist information. And then you just kind of crowd in and get a picture with Hachi. <laughs> We're going to turn you off so we can get a picture. Oh my gosh, look at the little Mario Kart tours. Look. The little Mario Kart street car. Look at they're all dressed up. You see that? I'm gonna flip the camera. The little Mario Kart tours. I we made it to this is Pashki Street. Harajuku Street. That is crazy. So I've heard that the street is crazy if you go one down. It's supposed to be a little bit better. I'm gonna wait to cross. How you doing, kiddo? There's supposed to be all kinds of fun, crazy foods along here, too. Is it good? I'm eating a baby bottle thing. No, no, but you. Um. Okay, you want to get Isaiah baby bottle? I guess so. I guess we're going to go get Isaiah baby bottle. I'm not going to eat all my food and put it in the bag. He got a baby bottle with some kind of soda and afterwards it's a corn container. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna drink it always. Ugh. It should pop up. I can't get it off. There we go. And this they don't call it jelly, they call it cherry. Is it good? Let me see. It was orange soda with mango jerry. Jer jerry in it, but jelly. Yummy? That's weird. Awesome. Alright. Let's hit the crowds again. Isn't that where we're from? Yep, we're gonna flip the other way. Yeah. We gotta get to the other side again. I got him. Those are crazy costumes. Those are like Crazy costumes. All right, we're gonna turn it off. The main strip of Harajuku, walking down, and on your left side, you would have an owl cafe and a little fox or dog cafe. So if you're looking to do something like that, you can do that while you're here in Harajuku as well. So they've been wanting to do these machines. We've been saving oh God, change up. 
She wants to get the little puppy one. So here you go. Here's some hundreds. You need 300, so you can do those three silvers. And what about that one? I think I'm that's all. Uh, how many? Which one are you doing? Okay, yeah, that one's 300. Okay. They're both 300? So you put your coins in. Wait, is this 300 too? Yes. How many? 300? Yes. Wait, are all the top ones 300? Yeah, uh, except for the far end. Oh! The little, bo little oh. bottom squishy is 200. And then you're going to spin it. You're spinning oh. the wrong way. Uh -huh. I was just going to say. <laughs> the arrows. How do you get it? Oh. Though. It's just fun to do it. Did you put something wrong in? Oh, you pushed the button return. <laughs> you gotta spin it. Can I get more so I can do that guy? I've seen that one everywhere. I wanted to find one. Did you get it out? You gotta lift it up. Can I try to get one of those two, please? Oh, that's this one. Wait. Oh, no, that's this one. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to keep going. I cannot No, let's go. Let's keep going. There's a place. There's places where there's like a whole bunch of them, okay? Yeah, but can I try getting one? Huh? Can I do one more? You want to do one more? Okay. You can do the bottom one, too? That one's only two. You only need to put two coins in the bottom one. Yeah, well, I want to see, like, the difference. No. Yeah, I got one of the ones I wanted. I wanted to get a white one. Do you need the hundred coin? Yeah. Here, grab two of the silvers. Did you find them? Here, just take those two. And then put them in. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I want to see the difference between the two. Wait, there's a cap. Here, Mama. Oh my gosh, look at the little warship cat. The little warship. I want to get one cat. Alright, you guys ready? Grab your drink. I want to get another one, please. Are they squishy as they are? Alright, let's go. Are they squishy? Yeah, they're squishy. You want my cup? Pick one then. Yeah, they need a zipper. I need some money, please. So we went from JR Harajuku Station, crossed the street, went down the main drag, got all the way to the end. There's a cross street. We went left, and then we came across this little trail with this shrine. We're actually going to follow this back to the JR Station. Oh, look at it. There's a Japanese wedding. Yeah. So yeah, they're taking pictures for a wedding. That's a, that's a traditional wedding. There's like a traditional Japanese wedding. That's their traditional Japanese wedding attire. How oh, cool. Looks like they're just practicing for it, but... Um, they said on weekends a lot of times. This, if you're lucky, you can see something like that. So. Isaiah, what are you going to do? You, no, get your hands out, Mika. You get some water in. Now you pour it over your left hand and then your right hand. You don't need that much. Just a little bit. Let's see if we can do this. Like this? Like this, you don't. Okay. Don't actually do it. 
Do you wash your left hand or right hand? There was a wedding party up here. I didn't want to make noise, but this is the shrine. See, so a lot of people dressed in traditional geisha. It's like a kid zone over here. It's like a kid's town. No, like a little kid's area. Yeah, price is no food or school. That's a restroom, so it's taking us back to Harajuku. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. The toilets. Huh? Are these the bathrooms right here? Oh yeah. Okay, so we are inside the Hello Kitty bus, the green bus. Is that what he was looking for? <laughs> oh. I think they're in my backpack. We're inside the green Hello Kitty bus and we are waiting for Chad's friend to show up. Um, we explored the station and a little bit around Shibuya. Um, saw the Hachi state fish, the Hachi statue. Um, it, it, I wouldn't say it was super difficult to navigate. There's definitely a learning curve. <laughs> but are you tired? Yeah, we would have been headed back right now, but now it's kind of rush hour time, and his friend just got off, so we had to wait for that. So we're um, just gonna relax here for a little bit. They got some little squishies. Wait, can I, can I show them the, all of my other ones? Have you opened them all? Why don't we get back to the hotel, and then you can show everybody. Let me just open yours, though. You see? Yeah. Where are all yours? In your backpack. Ah. So, yeah, I'm just waiting until they get here, just relaxing. Um, and that's all. So, oh, it's been a fun day. Definitely, like I said, definitely an experience. The kids want to stay at the hotel tomorrow. They don't want to do this again. Um, so, I figure we'll take a rest day and then we'll have three more days at Disney. So, that's the plan for now. Bye. All right, so that was it. We ended up waiting for his friend. His friend came. It started pouring rain, like unbelievable, just downpour of rain. So that was the end of my recording for the night. I was going to record us kind of heading home, but because it was just downpour, it was literally just like, and it was blowing sideways. So even with like umbrellas, it didn't really help. So we ended up just um, running from the little green Hello Kitty bus there at Shibuya back to the train station and going back to our hotel. So um, it wasn't raining when we got to our hotel area. So we ended up grabbing some food and heading back to the hotel. Um, but it definitely was uh, the end of our night for recording because of that crazy heavy rain and the kids were absolutely exhausted. So um, I didn't have a video because like I said, we ended up hanging out at the hotel the next day. Um, I ended up having a really bad tooth Ache that I had a broken tooth that I knew was there, but it hadn't bothered me ever. And for whatever reason, flying really made it act up. So it started hurting um, Saturday evening when we were sitting there in the bus. I was like, oh, my tooth's kind of sore. You know, I might be having like a sinus infection happening. By um, Sunday, it was feeling pretty darn bad. And by Monday, it was like extremely painful. So my videos from this point on actually are very short and limited because of the fact that I was really just trying to deal with the pain, but without like trying to completely ruin our vacation, unfortunately. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, but we, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our little uh, day trip into Tokyo. I tried to give at least a few pointers and ideas like do not use the public bathrooms in parks. I don't know if it was just that park or not, but that was the most disgusting bathroom 
ever almost that I've seen. Like it was in the top three most disgusting bathrooms. So, um, and again, we've peed like in holes in the ground. So in some places, so it was really bad. So, um, anyways, that was kind of our little day trip in Tokyo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe. If you are not subscribed, I'll give this video a big thumbs up. Um, I'm going to be doing a few more on our planning, how we planned our trip, as well as some tips for transportation around Disney and some great places that we found to eat at the Ex Expia station um, or the Expia Plaza there at the JR Mannheim station. So hopefully those will be helpful to you guys if you are planning a trip to Tokyo. Uh, and we will see you guys all again real soon. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye.